I'm going to show you, or at least draw on this piece of paper, how you would do speaker impedance matching. Uh, most people, what they do is they'll connect their speakers in parallel with their amp, and if they connect too many to that channel, then you could um, kill your amp or, you know, it can damage it. So I'm going to show you the best I can with this piece of paper and draw on it how you would do a proper speaker impedance matching. Now, we're going to take an example here that you have an 8 ohm speaker. Now, let's just say that this is the left channel. And then we'll just duplicate, do what you do for left channel for your right channel. So let's say you want to hook up four speakers to your left channel. So you got one, two, three, four. And they're all at 8 ohms, which most speakers are at. So you got 8 here. Now, what you want to do is you want to hook this to your amp. We'll call that we'll call that the amp. What you want to do here is you want to connect because when you connect these in parallel, basically uh, negative all the way down in parallel, it will actually decrease your impedance. So connecting these two in parallel will make it down to four, and then connecting these other two in parallel as well as these two, it will go down to one which can really damage your amplifier. So we're going to connect it in a way using combination of parallel and series to match the impedance of your amp, which is going to be 8 ohms. So basically what these speakers are. So we're going to take these two speakers here and basically connect them in series. So negative to positive. And you're going to do the same here. Negative to positive. And uh, this will be negative. So negative will come out here. N negative wire will come out here. Or you could say common. We'll do the same for here. We're going to connect. Since these are connected in series. And these are connected in series. Now we're going to take from here. And we're going to connect them parallel. So there's your negative wire goes in there. So that's negative. And we're going to take the positive wire. We're going to connect it here. And uh, that's going to go into the amp for positive. So basically, essentially, what's happening here is these two in series is increasing the impedance. So 8 plus 8 is 16. And then the same as 16 here. 16 ohms because 8 and 8 is 16. So when we're right here connecting these two as well in in uh, parallel so this pair and this pair are in series but they're connected in parallel basically it decreases um, the impedance so you're taking 16 and it's divided by 2 so 16 divided by 2 equals 8 so there you go. These are this is 16 ohms here, the total I was showing. So 8 and 8 cuz they're in series is 16, 8 and 8 is 16. So now you got 16 and now you connect them parallel back here to your amp right here. And that's taking the 16 and divided by 2 equals 8. Now just do that for the same with, we said this was the left channel. You can do the same with 
the right channel. One, two, three, four, eight. Those aren't the best looking <laughs> circles. We're going to connect these. Whoops. In series. And we're going to connect this back to the amp. And that's going to connect in parallel here. Well, marker's going out. And there you go. Now you can hook up eight speakers to your eight ohm system. So you got on the right, I know it should be reversed. This should be left, should be right, the way you're looking at it. So your right channel can have four speakers are correctly matched for impedance and your left can have four speakers correctly matched with impedance and um, that's basically what you do now the un other alternative than having to calculate all this using math and stuff to do impedance matching would be to get a 70 volt amp with 70 volt speakers and hooking those up which is so much simpler than doing this. But if you have like an, an amplifier and you're maybe in a small office or something or you want to put a few speakers in your home and, you, you know, this is hooking up using this right here, eight speakers, four on the left, four on the right, is, um, you know, a way you can go other than having to purchase a 70-volt amp with 70-volt speakers. Yeah. Hopefully this little uh, tutorial write out thing helped for those that are wanting to hook up a bunch of speakers to their stereo and you can have more than eight if you want or four per channel but it gets more complicated because you have to match your impedance of your amp and everything and you know you could have if you wanted to 30 speakers but it's almost it would take a long time to make out um you know calculations to get the right impedance from your amp so then the alternative is a 70 volt system questions comments leave a comment in the video if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment or email questions at macintech.net i do my best to answer all the questions when people email and i also read all the comments and reply to most of them as well if you like our videos why not subscribe to our youtube channel youtube.com forward slash macintech follow us on twitter twitter.com forward slash macintech and check out our website at macintech.net hopefully you enjoyed this video and we'll chat at you later